Now let's take a look at a couple of instruments to see how our measurements are made. In the first instrument we have, we have an instrument to use measure length, a ruler, and it's marked to the ones place. In this case, if we wanted to make a measurement, we would look at this instrument and we would say, okay, we know that this value is going to be less than one, but it's greater than zero. So we would estimate our value to be about 0.5 centimeters. And that's our limitation. We could only go out that far because the instrument's not marked accurately enough or doesn't have the markings to get a more accurate reading. Let's say we get another instrument, same thing, it's going to measure length, but this time around it's marked to the tenths place. Each one of these little marks represents 0.1 centimeters. In this case we're going to get a better value, a more accurate reading. In this case we can measure this as about 0.52 or 0.53. We can do this because we know that the value is going to be greater than 0.5 but it's going to be less than 0.6. The 2 and the 3 in these measurements are going to be estimated values and we always want to take our measurements out one more place than what our markings are. We always want to estimate one place past the marked values. In this case the marked values to the tenths place so we should estimate our values out to the hundredths place. In the next ruler, everything's marked out to the hundredths of a centimeter. There's a hundred individual little marks between the end and the one centimeter mark. For that reason, we can carry our measurement out one more place than what we did in the previous ruler. We know, based on the markings and where the line is, that our value has to be or is greater than 0.52. The, line, the red line is a little bit past the 0.52 mark. It's not quite to the 0.53 mark. And for that reason, we can make our estimate out to the thousandths place in this case. In this case, 0.522 or 0.523. That would be our estimated value for that reading.